Hey there, welcome. Like always, it's me, a host, Amy from Pen Venture, and you are in for a mysterious fountain pen review. You've seen the thumbnail. In this video, we will experience the flagship model of Pinader based on the La Grande Bellezza, and the collection name is Mystery Filler. We will get to experience all three variations of this collection in this video review. And uh, join me and let's Scooby do this mystery. I know your time is precious, so let's begin with the review. First of all, I'm gonna give you some information regarding the manufacturer, then the collection itself, fountain pens, then we will go and have a look at some of the details of this collection, then we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison, writing sample, and in the end, I'm gonna conclude everything in some personal opinions, notes, and uh, everything that I uh, deemed to be my point of view regarding this collection of writing instruments and we are going to end the video. Manufacturer, P. Nader, it's quite a big and important established manufacturer in Florence, Italy, and they are quickly approaching almost 250 years in business. So they have 248 years in business this year. 2022 so it's a very very well established manufacturer although it's not a technically speaking a fountain pen manufacturer recently became a fountain pen manufacturer because they were specialized in everything that means stationary and here we can mention greeting cards postal cards uh, wedding invitations all sorts of interesting things to do with paper. I visited them and uh, I was uh, astonished to see uh, what is their heritage in regards of doing quality paper work. A few years ago someone very important, a dear friend of mine, joined them and that person is Dante Del Vecchio, which is the founder of Visconti. Actually, he is the mastermind behind a lot of inventions, a lot of fountain pens, a lot of innovations in regards of our domain, the fountain pen industry. And it's a friend of mine. I'm going to attach a picture with myself and him at the Pinader factory. And uh, Dante, if you're watching this, thank you very much for our friendship and I do appreciate all of your work. Since Dante joined Pinader, we do have quite a lot of interesting models of fountain pens coming out of the factory and uh, I don't know which one to call their flagship, but I'm gonna assume it's this one. And it's based on the La Grande Bellezza model. We do have a video review of the Grande Bellezza series, although I was a little bit more shy in those videos, but if you want to check out some of the details, we have this uh, link right here, you can check that and see. But today we are going to focus on the flagship in the La Grande Bellezza series, and it's a variation of three fountain pens. They are called the Mystery Filler Collection. So let's get to see what's the mystery behind all of these fountain pens. Let's quickly begin with the ownership experience. Let me show you what you can expect when you order a Pinator Mystery Filler. Then we will go into details. I'm gonna show you all sorts of features of this fountain pens. Then we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison, writing sample, and at the end, I'm gonna share some of my personal opinions. So let's get it going with the ownership experience. You get this sort of a old desk box-like, which is covered in leatherette, if I'm not mistaken. Right here embossed, we have Pineder Firenze 1774. This is the year in which Pineder was established as a company. So just like I told you, a lot of history. It's opening like so. 
this box is so awesome and you can basically keep your fountain pen displayed very very nice on your desk like this inside we have one of the three possible materials in which the mystery filler fountain pen comes this is the forged carbon here we have a pinator filler allows you to carry some ink with you and also you can fill up your fountain pen with ink stain free the fountain pen rests very very securely right here here we have the documents of uh, the fountain pen and uh, inside you will find information about the collection uh, warranty and uh, your limited edition number now i want to show you the three variations of this model so we have the pinator mystery filler in forged carbon and this one will serve as the guide for our review today but i do have the other two siblings of this fountain pen we have the pinator mystery filler white sugar right here and the pinator mystery filler black russian so this is the entire mystery filler collection available in three different materials i will jump in between with the details so you guys can better understand the entire collection of writing instruments let's get it going this is quite a simple shape overall we don't have any weird transitions swoopings in regards of the design the cap is slightly larger the barrel runs pretty straight with small small uh, let's say tapering in towards those two ends as for a finial you can clearly see we have this very flat surface which is slightly raising above the cap it's protruding out on it we have pinator every single cap finial is the same unless we are speaking about the black russian which has the same finial but it's rose gold plated dante went forward and uh, showcased a very elegant interpretation of a feather which is the international symbol for riding we have this beautiful beautiful clip which is spring loaded quite quite soft it has a lot of give and it's very very practical overall the cap shape is very very uh, streamlined there isn't any changes in regards of the proportions and we have this larger cap band which makes the transition in between the cap and the barrel it's composed of this inner part which displays pinator right under the clip opposite to the clip dante plays on with us because he is showcasing one of the most important sentences in uh, all sorts of video reviews for fountain pens and it's that sentence that it's going to use the entire letters of the alphabet in one sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog now i think it's time to talk a little bit about the material so dante went forward and actually um, work with something quite awesome for this fountain pen. Forged carbon is a very, very interesting variation of carbon fiber. It is used in the high-end uh, car parts industry. Also, it's used in the aerospace industry and it's looking very, very nice. So this carbon, forged carbon, is showcasing this very nice pattern. It's just like Damascus steel and uh, I don't know if you are familiarized with that but it looks very very close to Damascus steel. Now the other two materials that he used are purely aesthetic and very very nice. We have a clear resin which shows the entire assembly of the fountain pen and every single detail is visible and we have something that's in between so the black russian has some visible parts and some which are made in black resin all three materials are very beautiful and each of them comes with a different pricing so actually for the carbon finish you would have to pay 755 euros no vat the black russian is 645 euros no vat and for the sugar white demonstrator fountain pen you would have to pay something like 745 euros so 
they are quite similar and uh, there is uh, a little bit of price difference because of the use of different materials. Moving further, I would like to showcase the nib of this fountain pen because it's a jewel. Uncapping the fountain pen, we are going to get the first clue of the mysteries that's following this fountain pen. First of all, take a quick look of the uncapping motion. If I twist the cap, something it's going to push it out. So it's just like invisible threads to say so. And Dante used magnets and when you change those magnets alignment, it actually pushes the cap out. This is very, very nice and the motion of uh, getting the cap to cap on the pan so crisp is just very, very uh, nice. Moving further, I'm gonna show you the nib and here is where we need to have a talk. And this is not your ordinary gold nib. The Mystery Filler Collection showcases a gold nib, but not your everyday gold nib because this is a nib specially designed by Dante Del Vecchio and manufactured by Bach, it is as good as you may imagine. Or if you have it, you know how good it is because this is a quill nib. Essentially, it's a 14 karat gold nib, which has this cutouts right here and this interesting breather hole. It is offered in quite a few sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a stub, and it's elastic, but it's really elastic and soft and also has snapback. Although it's not advertised as being a flax nib, you can really flax it and uh, it's quite interesting. I love this nib and I do believe this is a very, very nice exotic option that you can have on a fountain pen. And of course, on this mystery filler, it works stunning. Right here, we have embossed the logo of Pinader, Pinader, Quill Nib, 14 karat, and the nib size. In this case, this is a broad. It is powered by a ABS plastic feed, which has a lot of flow. So don't be fooled by that. It's not ebonite, but it has a lot of ink flow. Also, this is friction fitted inside the section. Let's talk about the section because the section has quite a I would say unusual shape, but again, it's a metal section and it's quite comfortable. In my experience, I'm not that open to metal sections, but this, because of the actual shape, this hourglass shape, it's quite comfortable and it's not going to make you uh, feel that your fingers are slipping towards the end of the section. We have this part right here, which has these grooves, and those grooves help you to have a lot of grip. You don't need that much grip if you can hold the fountain pen like so in the way that the section is shaped to be ergonomic. Moving further, this section is quite long, and right here we have this beautiful, beautiful ink window, which, if I'm not mistaken, Dante is very, very, ingenious and in this case i think that he was inspired by some kind of a building in florence or something like this because this ink window is very very similar to what you see on a medieval uh, castle or a dome to say so maybe the florence dome who knows and i do believe this is a very very aesthetic uh, feature of this fountain pen it's a little bit sharp, but again, I don't think that you would hold a fountain pen by the ink window like so. Anyway, moving further, there is no step up from the section towards the barrel, and the barrel runs pretty, pretty straight without any tapering in until this point right here, then it starts to slowly, slowly tapering in towards the uh, back end of the fountain pen, and here we can see that we have somewhat of a ballpoint feature because pressing like so, we find mystery number two. So actually, this is why this collection is called the mystery filler because the actual piston filling mechanism is hidden away and you cannot access it 
unless you press and you open it like so. Actually, if it's closed like this, you cannot turn it. But if we are going to do something like this, as you can see, we can actually use this very, very interesting filling mechanism, or at least a complication of the filling mechanism. I really think this is a play on watches because watches are always uh, judged by how complicated they are. And uh, this way Dante complicated the piston filling mechanism and I really think he pulled it off. I'm gonna use the demonstrator fountain pen to show you this intricate motion of the piston filling mechanism. And let's do something like this. As you can clearly see, we have complete transparency and we can see inside how the system is working. And let's actually move the piston rod up and down. I would bet that this fountain pen has a lot of ink volume by the looks of the piston filling and how big is the volume of the ink chamber right there. On the piston knob, we have the limited edition number. So this collection numbers 888 pieces, which are here to delight you with their presence in your collection. Black Russian has everything rose gold plated. The nib is rose gold as well. Also something very important regarding the Black Russian, we have a resin section. So if you are not into metal sections, you have this fountain pen, which is using the resin section. Now let's put this Pinader mystery filler fountain pens side by side with other fountain pens in order to grasp the overall sizes of this collection. Pretty much this is what you can expect from the Pinader mystery filler collection. We have right here Monte Grappa 1930 Extra, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in Primary Manipulation, Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi, a mystery filler in forced carbon capped. We have the Black Russian uncapped and we have the sugar demonstrator posted. Right here we have a scribo fill. In regards of dimensions, the fountain pen capped measures 153 millimeters. Uncapped like so, it measures 140 millimeters. Posted like so, it measures 175 millimeters. The fountain pen capped like this, it's weighing 50 grams and uncapped like this, it's weighing 31 grams. And now join me and let's solve together the mystery behind the nib, this quill nib. I'm just going to dip this nib in some ink and I'm not going to spoil you the surprise. So I want you to be the first one who's going to ink this fountain pen. So let's have it writing. So we have the pen and this is the Pinader Mystery Filler. I'm gonna put just a forced carbon F and C like so and we have the ink and this is Aurora black and we have the nib and this is 14 karat gold and this is the quill nib the paper and I do believe this is a broad Yes, paper 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. Now I want to show you how wet is this nib because this is a broad nib, ABS feed. So this is one pass. Ooh, this is so, so, so juicy and wet. And this is a double pass. So we have quite a generous ink flow if you ask me. Now, let me show you how this nib is performing under normal writing. It's a broad, so this is a little bit of stubbish aspect to the overall way this nib is writing. So we have normal, and I'm gonna do some figure of eights 
Now flex and I'm going to apply slightly, slightly, a little bit of pressure. And this is, I would say, takes this nib from a broad to a double broad very, very easy. And I know this nib is not advertised as being a flex nib, but it does have some uh, give, it does have some um, aspects that makes it fun when using and you can add a little bit of character to your handwriting. Remember, if you want more out of this nib, you can actually choose an extra fine or fine nib and have more um, line width when you start with the finer size in the first place. Now I think it's time to actually write down the sentence that's on the cap of this fountain pen and uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's start with the quick brown fox. So today I'm not that sharp. I was a little bit tired, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm misspelling all over. Jumps, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And the nib is performing flawless. I can enjoy a broad nib from time to time. My actual favorite nib from the Quill Nib series is a fine or extra fine, although it comes with a little bit of feedback, but it's something that I can live with it because it's not that obvious. Now let's recap and let's see the mysteries and everything about them. I think Dante outdid himself. It is quite a nice collection. We have a use of materials unseen by myself, like forged carbon. I do love the fact that we are exploring different materials that are out there. And he is a maverick in regards to materials. Actually, he invented the lava material from Visconti Homo sapiens, the Bronze Age. In regards of options, we can clearly see that the Pinator Mystery Filler Collection is uh, hitting all the sweet spots. We have clear demonstrator, semi-demonstrator, fully opaque. We have metal section. We have a resin section right here. The filling system is awesomely designed. We can clearly see it if we can uh, use a demonstrator version. Uh, the actual way that the mechanism is going to prevent the movement of the piston is very ingenious and I do love all of the features of this fountain pen. The star of this fountain pen among the material uh, is the nib. The quill nib is so beautiful. It has a lot of, um, let's say, personality. It's soft, it's elegant, it's aesthetic. And um, I think it's quite a showstopper. Looking at them, it's very, very hard to be picky. And I'm gonna try my best to be picky. And the first thing that's on my mind is that the section is a fingerprint magnet. I am a very, very OCD person. And uh, every time that I'm seeing uh, fingerprints on my pants, I am just taking the cloth and polishing them. And this is something that's quite present on the metal sections of this fountain pen. But again, we have an option, we have something that's going to replace the metal section and is the black Russian that comes with a resin section and this is not going to have your fingerprints so much on it. Moving further, another thing would be the fact that although the fountain pen is designed to be very, very balanced, when you actually pose the fountain pen, it's going to be slightly back heavy. I'm not the kind of person that's going to use the mystery filler post-it because I don't post my fountain pens unless they are very, very light or very, very short. In the case of the mystery filler, I can use it very easy unposted. But if you are the person that's going to post their fountain pens, I do think that if you have a slightly larger hand, 
I do believe it's going to fit you better, but if you have a small hand, it's going to be a little bit back heavy. Other than this, I cannot find anything else that's not the way I want it to be on this beautiful collection. That, my friends, sums up my review of the Pineda Mystery Filler collection. All of the three models, the Forged Carbon, the Black Russian, and the Sugar White Demonstrator. On our website, you will find the Pineda Mystery Filler collection, among other Pineda fountain pens, and there you can pick your favorite finish, your favorite nib size, and if you want to be sure that the fountain pen is going to perform in a way that you want, let me know in the order notes and I'll be quick to check the fountain pen and to adjust the nib according to your specifications. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for spending your time on the Pen Venture YouTube channel. Let me know if you enjoy my content and if you do so, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to reach out to many more just like you. Scrolling down below, you will find the details for our website, uh, our social media accounts, uh, email, phone number, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with us. If you want to support our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, you have this video right here. Click and enjoy. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.